Hi guys, this is Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com and in this video we're gonna talk about a BSOD error. So if you don't know what a BSOD error is, it's a blue screen that comes up when you have some problems with your PC. But those of you who have or had this problem know what it is. So in this video we're gonna talk about especially about the error IRQL not less or equal. This is the most popular BSOD error in Windows 8.1 and 10 actually. So in this video rather than giving you some steps I'm also gonna give you some advices on how to solve this problem. First, I'm gonna advise you to open your operating system in safe boot. So what that means, you will open your operating system without all the third-party apps and without all the drivers. So the system will be at its default. If the system will run as it should then, this is a message sent to you that means a program or a software or a driver that you're using causes the blue screen. So to do that you just have to press Windows plus R and in the run box you'll type msconfig. Press enter. So in this new window that appears you just have to go to boot and then select from boot options safe boot. You select it and OK. And when you restart your PC, your Windows will start in the safe button. So as I've said, you check if the system is going OK in the safe button. And that will be the message that tells you a program or a driver is the problem. But if the Windows is still not working, I'm going to give you a few more advices. And I'm going to show you a few more things to solve it. A second thing that I'm going to show you is check your memory and hardware. So you can do that by a software from Windows, you just have to press Windows plus Q, you will open the search charm. So in this box, you'll have to write memory diagnostic, you'll find the tool here, it's called Windows memory diagnostic, just click on it and open and this window will pop up and it says restart now and check for problems so you click on that the windows will restart and automatically the OS will check for problems for issues if this doesn't solve the problem you should try to roll back your operating system to a system restore so how do you do that you just have to press Windows plus Q then write control panel, then enter. In the control panel, you just have to look for a system. If you don't have your control panel like I do, you just have to go here on view by and select large icons. Then click on system, then click on advanced system settings, then click on system protection, and you'll have here your system restore. As I didn't ever create a system restore, I don't have one, but you'll have one if you create it sometime. If not, you cannot do this uh, as I cannot do as well. And the last thing that I'm gonna advise you to do is to check your components. Most likely your BSOD should be from the RAM memory. I had the BSOD problem a few years ago and it was from the RAM memory. I just went and uh, replaced one of the memories because I had to and the problem was solved. In the worst case, you can uh, try to find a PC service specialist that will check your PC more closely. But these steps and this solution that I told you in this video should solve your problem. Also, don't forget to check out the article in the description. There you have a very complex article that explains the problem and it gives you also other solutions for this issue. So, hoping this video helped you. I was Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com. Until next time, bye-bye.